Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the old blood. Just escaped out of this hell pit. Let's deal with this heavy out here. I think we need to turn off their power. I get the impression if you don't go take them down pretty quickly, then they'll come back alive. Those cameras gonna be an issue? Guess not. I don't know if those are cameras actually, they might just be lights. No, they're cameras. Yeah, I didn't think it would actually just drop dead. I, I didn't know they actually needed power to function at all. I thought it would just make them weaker or vulnerable or something. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm good. That can stay. Something really cool, by the way, that I noticed about the pipes. So you can switch between having a single long pipe or a detached two pipes. Like, what happens when you switch between them? I like how they went through the extra effort to actually make them, even though they're separate items, to sort of be the same item. Oh. Okay, well I guess I'm not going back now. I feel like that one over there might have saw that. Oh. Doesn't care. I could try to shoot it, but mm, nah. Oh, hey. Is that the person I'm looking for? I'm looking for, uh, what was it? Wesley? Yeah. Might be. That's cool, you can do the takedown from the front, too. Arrest report, March 15th, 1946. 10-13, received two new prisoners. Oh, that'd be us, Wesley and, and me. Interrogation with Harry Yeager is scheduled for later. Need names and plans. Uh, Von Shabs wants to know why the prisoners entered her office. We'll begin with whichever prisoner that is. I have a feeling he'll break more easily than the thick-necked one. Oh, right, we were talking to Wesley through the grate and we heard them take them away, so... Yeah, they're... Well, crap, I guess they're probably torturing Wesley. And I, Blaskowitz, seems to match the description of the Fuhrer's attacker. Wait, am I? Is Blaskowitz the one that... hurt Hitler? Remember the propaganda piece that we heard about how no one really hurt Hitler? No, they're infallible. Bullshit. I bet that's a reference to like the original Wolfenstein or something. Do you actually fight Hitler in the original Wolfenstein? I don't know. I have no idea. I guess these are just no-name prisoners. I like how they're really holding back and giving me more weapons. Doggies. I'm sorry, doggies. Aw, dog food. 
I'm sorry, I need it. Oh, you can take damage during cutscenes. Whew. Yeah, uh, I didn't quite expect that. Pretty often in games, if you're in a cutscene, or in a, I guess not a cutscene, sort of cutscene, an animation. If you're stuck in an animation, often you can't get hurt. But nope, you can definitely get hurt. Let's try this again. So I think I might be in pretty much the exact same situation as before. Come oh crap. Well, I'm getting shot at. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do from here. Are they gonna forget about me? Obviously they can't come too far, they're kind of stuck on their electricity lines, huh? Yeah, okay. There's a lot of them. Shit. Where's this one's power? What does that connect to? I think it might be all the way at the end. I wonder how these things are going to be to fight with a... with a gun. The non-stealthy approach. Oh shit. Did it hear or something? Oh, I guess it just stops there naturally. Good. Wait, I can't... Where is the power for that one? Where did it go? There was another one. Right? Oh yeah. Well, who cares? I 
if there's secrets up here. No. But there's lots of gold up there. Oh, something I sh keep forgetting to do. I should look at the perks that I have. So, yeah, good. We have different perks than we had before. Let me take a look at this. There's some interesting stuff here. It looks like they've sort of, uh, I'm not sure if simplified or, or just reduced the number of perks you can get is the right word compared to the, the new order. But there's quite a few less of them. A lot of them are pretty straightforward, like you get a more powerful bomb and schuss by killing with the bomb and schuss, whatever that is. So basically use the weapon to make it more powerful. There's quite a bit of that. But there's also some interesting stuff like this one. Kill enemies with the last bullet of a clip to unlock the ability to increase reload speed by mashing the reload button. I think that's what they call an active reload system. So mash R in my case to reload faster. So that's pretty interesting. There's something else. Oh, yeah, if I collect 100 helmets, I unlock the ability to overcharge armor, which you never could do. As far as I could tell, unless there was some perk that I never got, you could never do in the original The New Order. So you can recharge it just like health. It's interesting. But, uh, yeah, not too much I can do at the moment with my current situation, other than stealth takedowns. I can do that. That'll give me the ability to receive some health from doing stealth takedowns. I should... Jesus. I should maybe turn off tutorials, but if in case there's any new mechanic stuff, I probably want tutorials for them, like for the wall climbing thing. Good, I'm invisible up here. Oh. <laughs> I get the feeling they're trying to tell me something. You want me to use the gun? Okay. Hope I don't regret this. Oh, that worked, but... Man, it took a lot of damage. Okay, looks like they do have to take a break every once in a while. That wasn't one of the breaks. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! You can shoot the, uh, like, power stuff on their back and kill them a lot faster. Nice! Why do they explode? So are these for the their power? Or what? What does that do? I think so. I'll just turn both off just in case it does something special. It's interesting though that you can turn off their power without um, doing it at one of those generator things. I always thought the switches were connected to the generators. Doggies.
I can push it. Uh. Hmm. Maybe I need that to like jump up into something at the end of the track. Sorry, doggy. So I could just, I could just skip it. I guess I'll do that. Well, wait a minute. No, hold on. No, I'm not gonna skip it. How do I turn off the power? I don't want to skip it because I want to move that um that. Oh, I want to move that thing down here to the end just to see if it does something special. Don't see any way to turn off the power to take them down, so I'm just gonna push this forwards and see what happens. Surely they're about to start shooting me. Right? Oh. What does this give me access to? Oh, it only goes this far. What's the point? There must be a point to this, right? Is it just to provide you with cover? No, there must be something else. I don't see anything you could possibly jump to from it. Alright, we're going. Why are you asleep? Are you really asleep? I'll take a freebie. Oh, I think I need to power this thing up, I'm guessing is what this is. And I'm guessing if I didn't take down them, it probably would have powered them up. Yeah, I think so. stuck over there. Okay, so they come together and then split apart. is really good looking by the way. I'm really curious how the the new Colossus, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus is going to look cuz I think that should look actually significantly better than this game which already looks very good. Cuz the new order and the old blood, 
Those were both released pretty close to each other and I think have about, if not exactly, the same system requirements. So I'm assuming they're made to the same visual fidelity. But Wolfenstein 2 has much stricter requirements. Gotta kill a bunch of the dogs. They're super gonna hear me if I drop down, aren't they? Oh crap. They're pretty close together. And they move pretty fast. Note from the state veterinarian. Uh, Mr. Jaeger, I appreciate that you're concerned about her health, but I assure you that surgery will not be necessary. Indeed, I do agree with your assessment that she's, she has seemed irritable and withdrawn lately, but let me point out two important points that should ease your mind. If you give her the medication twice daily as prescribed, the kidney stones should pass naturally. I know Greta is more than a mere dog to you, but once this ordeal is over, she will quickly forget about it and return to her normal jolly self. Yeah, they're good dogs. I'm sorry that I'm killing them. Also, I'm sorry that they're eating people. But that's not really their fault. Is there anything in the other one here? This one's just open. Okay. You probably could drop down any of them and they take you to the same place, I'd imagine. Yeah, that would have just taken you to here. Yeah, I thought that looked breakable. You get wet particles on your face when you stand under it, and I think there's even maybe a different water sound. Ah, it's hard to tell.
I think I'll just avoid killing the dogs. I don't think I really have to. Should be able to sneak past him easily. I don't think they can see you since they're sleeping. You just gotta be quiet. Oh, you can hear him snoring. Didn't actually get to check up here. Aha! What matters most to a hunter is his dog, says Herr Rudy Jaeger, SS Lieutenant and Caretaker at Castle Wolfenstein. When we meet Herr Jaeger, it is a crisp October day and he is taking us on a walk through the forests south of Paterborn. His dog, a beautiful hunting breed enhanced by the research of General Wilhelm Strauss, trots along by his side through the carpet of rustling leaves. It's a relationship. She trusts me and she knows I would never betray that trust. When you're out there stalking your prey, that's all that matters. When speaking with Jaeger, it becomes clear that the same fervor that made him Helga von Schaub's right hand is also devoted to the art of hunting. But what about fellow hunting partners? I need someone I can rely on 100%. People are clumsy. They're easily distracted and insecure. Dogs, on the other hand, are great animals. They are loyal to the other members of their group. They follow their leader without question, and when the group is threatened, they bite. Just pretend I didn't hear that. Ugh. Jesus Christ, it's disgusting! I'm like in, in the prison now. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.